So remember when ATMs used to live in those little houses? A lot of those small buildings have gone unused for years. An entrepreneur who used to work in northern Colorado found a new use for them. It's hard to have the place to put all of these parts, and then it's hard to travel with these, and then it's even harder to have neighbors that are understanding. Yeah, where I live, I do have drums, but it's not always playable. <laughs> My name is Mirna. I've been playing the drums since I was a child, but it was a hobby. And then recently, the last four years, I focused more on it to be more professional. This space is called Drum Box. Yeah, that was also a walk-in ATM that was built in the 80s. Jake is the founder and the owner of Drum Box. Drum Box is a place for people to be able to play real drums out loud and have their own space to not bother anyone. It's for me or people like me to come in and either practice in a place where no one is going to complain about the noise. You book sessions online, you get the place to yourself and everything's provided. My main goal in life has been like to empower women or people that are not seen, minorities. And so um, I've seen like very like little women play the drums and maybe even less playing metal or extreme metal. It is important. It expresses who I am. It shows that women can do things. Me having a space to do that is necessary because then that will guarantee that I'll continue to have a place to learn more, get better. Yeah, that's the best thing. That's what makes me really happy and really excited is just knowing when somebody is really getting use of the space. They have got a couple of locations in northern Colorado right now, and they're looking to add one in Nashville as well.